So this is episode 400 of the podcast, whether you're watching this on YouTube or you're listening to it on Apple Music or Spotify. This is the 400th episode of the Heroes for Sale podcast. And I don't exactly have a plan for this video, which I think is going to be counteractive to what I said what, or what I'm going to say in this video, because I want to talk about some of the stuff that I have learned from releasing 400 episodes, which grant, most of them are between 15 to 30 minutes. So that's like a ton of minutes of episodes of a podcast. And, you know, I think the one thing that I learned is that if you are someone like me who enjoys talking to either a camera in this case or into a microphone uh, before the beginning of this year when I was really going on YouTube, I think it's important to do that. And I think you should not necessarily care about what other people have to say about what you're saying. Because I think for me, there's been tons of times where I've said something and people haven't agreed. And, you know, I guess it's maybe more of an intuition thing sometimes for me. And I'm not here to gloat and say that I'm right all the time. But there is stuff that, you know, if you are doing enough research, you're going to be right about stuff that other people aren't seeing. Because... I guess if you're in the sports card industry, um, you know, there, there haven't been many changes over the past decade, two decades. Like we're seeing a ton happen in the, we're probably seeing more changes in the past two years than we had maybe in the past 20 to 25 years. So if you're somebody who is maybe my age, uh, so I'm 28 right now, I'll be 29 in April. No, I mean, I'm 27 now. I'll be 28 in April, maybe. I, I don't know. Whatever. I don't. Born in '93, so whatever that in, ends up being. Once after you're after you're 21, birthdays are just whatever. Who cares? So, somebody who is m maybe my age, maybe maybe you're coming into this with a little bit of a different mindset. Uh, for me, I think I definitely came in with more of a marketing and graphic design mindset. Like the market itself wasn't necessarily something that I thought was going to be what I talked about. Um, I thought it was going to be all about graphic design, and that was kind of how I started. And I guess maybe this is a going to be how I started. If you're just if you're listening to the first episode of this podcast, welcome. Thank you for uh, listening. I definitely hope that you will go, or if you, maybe, or if you listen to all 400 episodes, which I can't imagine there's anybody who's listened to all 400 episodes of the podcast, especially because if you go back in the backlog, uh, there was at one point where I was trying to clean up the backlog of episodes a little bit. So like between probably episode one and episode like 30 to 35, there's going to be some missing ones. So unfortunately, now you literally can't. If you this is your first episode, you literally can't listen to all 400 because. Uh, because Anchor, the way that it works essentially is that if you if you take an episode down and then republish it, it doesn't stay in the correct order. It, re it republishes the episode like it's a new episode. So if I were to republish episode five, let's say if I took that down, I don't know if I did. I'm, I'm just making up a number. But if I took that episode down and I put it back up, that episode would release like it was a new episode. For me, the podcast really was, you know, like I said, it, it, I... I had done a podcast in the past. Like, I think I had done about 50 episodes of, like, a random, like, sports podcast that I had talked about. Uh, or I just talked about random things that were happening. I think it was mainly basketball, but I, I remember that I would record the episodes, like, from my work until the train was about a 10 to 15 minute walk, depending on the day. So I would just record the episode back then. And I think I even, I, honestly, I think I downloaded Anchor when it was it only allowed you to record five minutes and they changed that so like the podcast the original one i forget what the name was adam speaks i believe was because i thought it was some funny joke and i thought i don't know i'm not sure why i called it that. i thought it was funny but so i think i ever downloaded the the anchor app when you could only record five minutes i think that was kind of the limit that's what they were trying to do they were trying to do this like short form audio which i'm glad that they don't do that now because I probably wouldn't be using Anchor. And Anchor actually was bought by Spotify, so they have a ton of that information, which I think is really great. And I think with this podcast, I had been creating content, I think, for probably a, around a year-ish. And I just wanted to kind of maybe try something new. And it's sort of like with YouTube where, you know, I had listened to podcasts. Like, I remember listening to the first episode of Part of My Take and listening to the Joe Rogan podcast and listening to all these different podcasts. And I was like, I can do this. And I took, I took sort of the approach like Joe Rogan where I just sort of kind of 
came on the podcast and didn't really do much research. And, you know, it started out with maybe just even, I think it started out with just me going through my Instagram and commenting and talking about some of the posts, which I think works, but I think I realized pretty fairly quickly that I could pretty fairly quickly is not a term, but we'll move on from there. Um, I realized quickly that I could kind of make those, make the episodes a little bit longer. Like I had more to say than maybe just what was in the Instagram or, or what was on my Instagram. And I don't know if like, I don't know, maybe this was something that, you know, you know, you never really expect, I guess I would, don't know what, what I would have expected. Like in, cause then what happens in 2020 is I just started recording an episode every day. So, you know, this 400th episode, if I hadn't done something like that, may not have come for another year or two. But I think releasing all the episodes, I definitely learned from getting feedback on the episodes and making sure that, you know, because at the beginning of 2020, I really wasn't doing as much research for the podcast because I was doing the research um, for, for sports cards, but maybe not doing the research for the podcast specifically, maybe not planning out the podcast, which... This year, 2021, that's kind of been one of my ma- more main focuses, other than this episode. Like I said, it's just sort of I'm kind of talking um, spur of the moment. And, you know, it, it, I went into – at some point in 2020, I did a podcast with Mike Summer from Wax Pack uh, Hero. And he, you know, he described the podcast, I think, the best that I had heard described. It was very uh, – he, he described it as – I think it was spur of the moment or very free thinking, I think is how he described it. But he, he described it, uh, the best basically I had heard it described was that like, it was sort of like off, not off the top, I guess. And, but, it, but it was, that was sort of the thing was, it was sort of off the top. Like I kind of had a topic. I knew a bunch of the information that I want to talk about, but then kind of from there, I sort of just would hit record and just talk into the microphone for 15 to 20 minutes every single day through throughout 2020. And then this year it's been a little bit different because it's been more video, but I just think that it's, it's cool to get to this milestone, but it's not even, you know, whatever your goals are, it's not necessarily going to happen maybe as quickly as you expect. And that's maybe a bummer to hear, but like, I think, you know, the one thing everyone talks about is, oh, all these Instagram entrepreneurs think that entrepreneurship is so flashy and it's so awesome and it's so great. And it's not that it's not fun in a way, but like, and it's not even, I don't even consider myself an entrepreneur either, by the way, like that. I definitely, I don't want to consider myself that because that, I think that takes away from people who actually are entrepreneurs, which I don't know at what point, uh, the businessman just became entrepreneur, like, cause biz, people all have owned businesses forever. So the, the entrepreneurship title is sort of a weird thing where it's like, everybody has to own a business. And I, I mean, I think if you, you don't necessarily have to call yourself a business person to run a, a business. I don't, I don't know exactly kind of the point that I'm trying to make here, but it's just that like, I want to create content and I sort of, I want to do it for a living. And I realized that the way that I want to do it is probably going to take longer because if, if I want to do it the way that I want to do it, it's just going to take longer. I think for that possibility to happen, I think there, I think you could, I, I, I have a general sense of where I think I could make some changes in the content if I wanted to grow faster, if I wanted to become a bigger account. But I, the way that I've described my content strategy is just that I'm going to create what I want to talk about. I'm going to create what I want to create. And I'm going to talk about what I want to talk about because I want other people to follow me because they're interested in what I have to say. Not because, of, not because they're interested in what I'm saying, I guess, if that I think that makes sense. I want them to be interested in the concepts that I'm talking about and that I'm interested in because they're interested in me and not the other way around where I'm only creating something because I think other people will be interested. Because if you do that, you're just never going to make everyone happy, I guess is one way to put it. You're not ever going to be able to create something every single time that everybody likes. And then, you know, hypothetically, if I ever wanted to change the topics, like if, I don't know, if you know, comics or something wanted to become, which that's a little bit different heroes for sale. But you know, I, I, I guess sports cards is something that I just, I see myself doing it in the future, but I think I, I like the fact that I think people follow me and they interact with some of my content because they like me as a person, I guess, They're not just interacting with the content because of the, because of the content that I'm creating. Uh, and I, I think that makes sense. I don't, I don't even know if, if that does make sense or not, but I do think it's, uh, you know, it's just going to take, if you want to do it that way, it's just going to take longer. And that's what I've realized. I think 
I, and I and I and it's not even necessarily that I think I'm getting better with every episode. I think it's just when you want to take the steps to get better, you you're going to do stuff a little bit differently. Um and I think that there are small steps that can happen, but you're not going to be changing overnight. So it's like if you're listening to the podcast and you like the my cadence or you like the the way that I explain things, like that didn't just happen because like if you listen to the first few episodes or you go to my beginning of my TikToks, which are hilarious to watch, if you go to those, you know, it's it's very monotone. There's not much um, cadence to what I'm saying. So I sort of have tried to develop that, but I don't know. And it's just kind of, you can plan out things, but just know that even though you're planning something doesn't mean it's necessarily, first of all, going to go right or that you're going to be, I uh, know, yeah, that, that, that it's going to be right and that you're going to be right every single time you do something because that's just that's one of the other things that I've realized is that even though you people may not notice like there's time there's things all the time that I'm messing up that like I'll mess something up and then I'll, I'll either leave it or take it down but like there's other people that are doing that too so it's like don't feel bad if you mess something up because that's just what's going to happen um I, I don't really I don't I, I think it's important to kind of share that message when it comes to not just talking about sports cards but if you're creating content just create the content you want to create that's kind of my biggest tip when it comes to um, when it comes to this content game. I think you know, if, if you have a goal of making content that eventually becomes your full time job, and you want to do it, and you want to create an audience that likes you, it may just take a little bit longer because it, that's what it's taken a little bit longer for me. Like I've been in sports cards doing research and doing content for like three years, and it's not my full time job. And you know, eventually I would like to maybe turn it into a full time job, but that's just not. It's not part of my plans right now I think I just want to create the content and build the audience and then have leverage in case there is some sort of opportunity where you know I don't know maybe maybe it's maybe it becomes just the brand deals or YouTube AdSense or stuff like that or maybe it's like I go work for a company and I do content for them like I don't know what the future holds but I just want to make sure that I'm at least putting my best foot forward in every video and at least saying I tried my best on this like even if it doesn't turn out good, at least I can say that I tried my best and I didn't half-ass something. Uh, and I think that's those are kind of all the points that I want to talk about in the in the video for the podcast. So, you know, episode 400, I hope there's another 400 more that are to come in the next few years. So thank you all for listening. Thank you all for watching the videos. Thank you for enjoying the content. You know, we just hit 1,000 posts on Instagram too, which is crazy. And we just hit 500 YouTube subscribers. And we've hit... 20 like we've been hitting a bunch of milestones recently it's been really cool but it's been a lot of work so you know i really appreciate everybody who enjoys the content and puts their time into watching it so you know that's all i've got for this one and i will uh see you in the next episode youtube video podcast all that type of stuff thank you all for watching and listening i'll see you in the next one